Hi, my name's Ollie. I'm a member of the gardens team at Lacken Campus, and today we're going to be looking at a archaic method of making ink. What we have here are essentially mutated acorns. You can see in the top there we've got old acorn shells. These are called ghouls, and they're created by a wasp called a ghoul wasp. There are different species which make different type of ghoul. They lay their eggs inside the acorn, and it causes the acorns to mutate into these weird forms. They are very high in tannin, and if we crush these down and mix them with water, ferments, and we get ink. Uh, this is a very old form of ink making, and it dates back to the Roman period, and was the dominant form of ink making uh, right up to the 19th century. The first step of the ink making is to actually crush these down, because at the moment these are really, really tough. So by breaking them down, we're exposing more surface area, and it will speed up the process. So we're going to start off by just putting some into this blanket and giving them a smash with the hammer. And yeah, this is an opportunity to get rid of any excess debris like the old acorn shells, like there. So this is the final stage of the process today. We need to cover the crushed acorns completely with water and we're gonna leave them for about a week to ferment. Because we want nice strong ink, we're going to let this ferment a bit longer, really extract all of the tannins and hopefully get a nice thick ink at the end of it. A week ago we made our little oak gall mix and we're excited to find that it's turned this lovely, lovely black colour. Um, it looks like ink, but it's not quite there yet. This is actually tannic acid. It's got the same kind of acidity as vinegar, so it's not terribly corrosive, but it's, um, it, is, uh, it is a form of acid. Um, to complete the process, what we need to do is mix in this uh, iron sulphate. We're going to mix that into there, and last of all, we're going to add some gum arabic. Uh, it's a sap from acacia trees and that just gives the final ink a little bit of shine. Let's see how it goes. By magic from a mixture of historical knowledge and science we have ink. Last thing to do is to mix in the uh, gum arabic which will just give it a nice shine and we'll be able to do some writing after that. Mm -hmm. 